Um, so you have to help them. So how do you help them? You help them because there are lots of little tools everywhere, which are really easy to implement. You have a website, and people will come on your website, but they get solicited by thousands and millions of websites. There, um, th there are websites where you have kittens falling, and it's really funny, and it's really difficult to compete with that. So you have to, when people are coming to your website, you have to make them very involved very quickly. And uh, for that, you can uh, ask them to subscribe to your news so that they don't have to come back. Um, whenever you will publish something, they will come back because they will be notified. Um, you can ask them to uh, become a fan on Facebook, for example, which means that they won't come back to you, but they will hear your news all the time. Um, it's very new, this, this, uh, this way of thinking, in, in, as far as the web is concerned, but it's not new at all. It's the same thing as newsletters, it's the same thing as uh, subscriptions to magazines. Um, the idea is that you don't necessarily, uh, you can't necessarily um, count on people coming back to you. You have to um, make them get so involved that you can, they authorize you to get back to them. Uh, and there are little tools also for making sure that those people will tell their friends or those people will, if they find something, they will share it with their network. Um, you can also use those tools too for yourself. Um, a lot of people will have, for example, a Facebook page or a home page for their um, organization, but they will also have a private page. If you find something that is interesting, um, you will share it. So if you publish something for your organization and you find it interesting, um, you can share it to your friends as well. So, I don't know, I, I guess I lost you already. But if you, if you are an organization and you find as the organization something interesting, share it as well. You don't have to talk only about yourself. You can also talk about things that are relevant to you and to what you're doing. And people will actually appreciate that because they don't want you to talk about yourself all the time. They also want you to bring them some very interesting information. Um, which leads us to quality versus quantity. Um, there, is, there is a fallacy that goes, the more you post things and the more noise you make and people will find you. Um, it doesn't work because people get used to that and they get used to uh, clicking the hide button and they don't want to hear anymore because it's too noisy. So you need to make sure about getting the right balance of um, being talkative but not being noisy. Uh, making sure that w whenever you share something, it's actually something that's relevant. It's not just something so that people remember your name. Um, Sometimes it's actually worth having something that is not too frequent, but actually when you do it, you do something that is so good that it becomes a reference and people will link it. People will think, oh, this is so perfect. It sums up everything I wanted to know. It's such a good thing. I'll, I'll bookmark this one, not all the small ones that were before and that everybody is talking about and it's so noisy I, I can't even find it anymore. Um, something that's very, very popular is top tens. You have something, people love top tens. You have top ten reason for this, this, this. It's good because you have something that is easily digested, you know, a little bit anecdotal, and it's got all the information you want. Something like that you don't have to post every day. You don't have to, to start publishing content all the time because you're not a news agency. But something like that, when it's relevant, is actually very good because it it's can stand forever. It's something, not forever, but it's something that um, you can keep on, on your website, on your network for a very long time, and that stays as a reference. Little thing on the side, don't forget offline as well. Um, Every time that you're going to publish something online, if people are not online um, in the same place where you are, um, but they do get your pamphlet, they do get your uh, printed newsletters, they do get your Christmas cards, they do get your uh, uh, printed journal, um, don't forget to actually tell them where you are online because they might not know it, they might not make the effort to find it and you need to educate your users to actually find you. Um, the graphics versus content one is interesting because um, 
if you, if you go to the Geneva Summit page and you look at all the sponsors and all the participating NGOs, some of them are really, really pretty. Some of them look like a news agency uh, uh, website, very dry, lots of text. And some of them are actually making a lot of effort in making something very cute, but has absolutely no content at all. The problem with that is that um, a lot of people nowadays will be accessing your content from different sources. It's not the web anymore. Um, it's going to be uh, syndication, it's going to be people re-forwarding content uh, by email, it's going to be uh, subscriptions, it's going to be um, iPhone, it's going to be whatever. So don't focus too much on making something pretty because people are not there for pretty. They're, they're there because they want to actually find something interesting and useful. Um, the second thing is that robots don't care for pretty. So when people will be looking for some kind of information on, on Google, um, and they won't find you because you spend too much time doing something very nice with lots of photos but actually no comment and no content, um, you're losing because those people are actually looking for something but they can't find you. And you're not just uh, uh, an image, you're not just a, a logo, you're actually um, the whole message that you're, you're conveying. So um, it's, it's actually... Um, a misconception to think that your website needs to compete with very pretty websites when in fact what you need to compete with is other content websites. You're, you're, you're going to sell content. Um, you, you need to make something that looks good but you don't need to waste time uh, making something that looks too good. Um, one easy um, misconception is oh, I'll put some flash everywhere. It's going to be nice, you arrive, moves like this, who cares? Nobody cares for something like that. It does care if you're doing like video games, but it doesn't care if you're doing something that actually uh, has content that matters. Um, feel free to interrupt me and tell me that everything I say is rubbish, by the way. Um, you? Yes, please. You mean now with this? You are talking about what? I'm talking about everything. That's 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 the whole point. Um, you you have to think about the web as in not a collection of individual websites anymore. Your website is your shop that is um, outside of the city, your IKEA, and you have a very nice shop, and it's exactly the way you want because you have all the space in the world. You can make something really good. You have a good parking space. On the other hand. Um, either you have to make a lot of advertisement everywhere or you have to build a brand for 20 years so that people actually make the effort to come or you're going to let's say Rue du Rhône, um, like big main street and you have a small shop there so that people who are already there they see your logo they see what you're doing maybe they go there they pick up the catalog where it says you can order online for example but you have one big place which is your website and you have lots of small place which is where people are so it is Facebook, it is Twitter, it is everything else. If there is a forum that uh, talks about uh, what your, what, what your uh, organization is all about, go and participate in that forum. Because the people who are there, they're already interested in that conversation. So it's, it's actually worth making the effort to get 100% of a small community than like one per thousand of the interwebs. I'm not going to tell you about the human rights mafia. I want to get into the human rights mafia. I want to get my message to the human rights mafia. Uh, I, 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 I will love you to uh, explain to me that later, and uh, I'll try to find out what I can about it. 